this got to be the craziest contract to all the free agency. And, and we done seen some stuff. Even Christian Kirk with the Jaguars, that deal. Aaron Rodgers with his rework deal. But no, no, this. Von Miller. Who, wasn't he just talking about retirement like a couple years ago? Maybe that was somebody. But Von Miller gets from the Buffalo Bills six years. $120 million. Now, we know the whole contract's not going to be guaranteed. We're sure there's going to be incentives and whatnot. But still, six years, $120 million. And <laughs> that's, that's crazy, man. Von Miller is, when this deal expires, and you know nowadays, like, free agents, they don't really play out their entire contracts. Um, but when this deal expires, he's going to be 38 years old. Six years, $120 million. Shout out to Von Miller for getting his bread. And, and really shout out to the Buffalo Bills. These dudes, they could have been like, man, we just had the number one defense last year. We ain't worried about that. Nope. They said, nope. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep going. And I, I, I always love how the Buffalo Bills, they, you could tell, they, they really go all in to try to build their rosters. They do it, and I love it. Like on offense, they drafted Josh Allen in, in his rookie year. His first game was actually against the Ravens when they benched, um, I think, Nathan Peterman. And Josh Allen came in, and he looked all right, but then for the rest of the season, it was like, ooh, uh, we don't know. We don't know about this one. What they do after that? They went out and got Stephon Diggs. And that li literally just changed the trajectory of Josh Allen's career for the better. Then they went out and got Emmanuel Sanders. They got Gabe Davis. They got Cole Beasley. They like, they, they've been putting weapons around Josh Allen just to make sure they maximize their quarterback. And I love that. I love it. And then on defense, they re-signed Tredavious White. Unfortunately, he, uh, what was it, his ACL, his, his Achilles, whichever one it was, he went out for the season, and that was a big blow. Um, but they had brought in guys over time, like a Levi Wallace, who's a Steeler now. Um, obviously, Micah Hyde, Jordan uh, Poya, they, they, they've been building Tremaine Edmonds, or is it, I always get him mixed up with the one on the Steelers. Um, but either way, Edmonds, I just call him Edmonds. And I, I really love him at linebacker because he's so tall, but he's fast. And he plays, like, with that ferociousness. Uh, and, and I just, I love his game. But the Bills, them adding a Von Miller, that's insane, man. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> oh, shout out to, what is it? Is it Bean? Bean the GM, I think, for the Bills? Shout out to the way that he builds his roster. Oh, yeah, and Josh Allen, he already got his contract, too. So they, they got that knocked out the way. Because you know how a lot of fans be like, oh, well, once a quarterback gets his contract, then, well, your team won't be able to do anything around him. That's false. That's false. Just because a quarterback gets paid does not mean that you cannot still build around that quarterback and you can't build your team. That's false. Don't believe that. It's not true. There's always ways. If a team wants a player or players, a team can get those players. It can be done. And the Bills, they keep showing that. So shout out to them getting Von Miller. I saw his Instagram, his story on Instagram where he tagged the Buffalo Bills. And I was thinking, uh, when I first turned it on, I'm like, oh, he's going to be trolling again. And I remember that there was the, all the talk about him with the Broncos. He was flirting with the Broncos. And I was thinking the whole time, I was thinking, no, nah, he ain't going back to the Broncos. He's just playing. Because a lot of football players do that. It's the offseason. They a little bored. He just came off winning the Super Bowl. He's like, you know what? Let me play around a little bit. Let me play around a little bit. And... I ain't never think he was going back to the Broncos. With the Rams, I was like, I, I don't know, man. Because Rams always find a way. They always find a way to get who they want. Um, but apparently, it obviously didn't work out. And the Bills, again, six year, 120 mil. That's crazy, man. But shout out to the Bills for being willing to be crazy and being willing to be crazy enough to really try to build their roster the best way they possibly can. So like Von Miller told the Rams this year, and like he told the Broncos last year, I'm out.